back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So first off, let me apologize about how I look. Today I worked and it's been a long day and I'm just tired and so I need to film this video. So I thought I would just sit on my bed. It's just easier. And today is the April 2021 palette challenge update. This is a collab video that I do with Nat, uh, Little Miss Nat, who's known as Nat on here. Stop. Calm down. You don't need to go outside. Dog's being a baby right now because she wants to go outside. So this is a palette challenge that I do with um, Nat and Beth. This was created by Nat. She invited myself and Beth in it, and we've been doing it now for quite some time since July of last year is when we started it, um, and this year we started it new again. And it is a very great collab. It is a great um, challenge for sure. It definitely challenges me every month to use up products, and I haven't started this year very, very great, and this month I even did worse. Um, so yeah, I know already that I'm going to be in the negative because I didn't complete all my palettes, um, and I also made a lot of purchases this month. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to share with you first, quickly, the palettes I did get points for, then I'll show you the palettes that I tried and attempted to use, and then, um, I will let you know how many points I have and how many is going to be minus and all of that. So I already know this month I did not make enough points so I'm going to have to minus some points from previous months to make up for the purchases that I did have for the month of April. So uh, with that being said let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first palette that I know that I did use four or more times is the Tarte and Aspen Ovard palette. This is an older palette. Um, they do not have this any longer but this is with a YouTuber named Aspen. And it's just a beautiful palette. This was a palette yeah. that got lost in my collection um, because it just was put away and I hadn't reached for it in a long, long time. But it has beautiful, beautiful shades, very everyday neutral shades. Um, and then it has a beautiful blush and highlight that is perfect for my skin tone. She's very fair, probably fairer than me. And she did great, I feel like, on the blush and highlighter. Um, I did buy, I had talked to you guys before about the Tarte and um, Graveyard Girl palette. It was absolutely beautiful. However, if you know Bunny, she is very fair, even fairer than me. But for some reason, she did a very deep reddish tone bronzer in that palette. A very deep mauve tone blush which was beautiful and then a beautiful highlight which was very very nice on my skin and then eyeshadows were very very deep as well so it just I as much as I tried to make it work it did not and I ended up passing it down it is absolutely gorgeous that is what it looks like and I did use this four or more times it's beautiful um so I do so for the shadows I do get a point for that side and then I do get a point for this because I used each of these three or more times because the goal is um, on face palettes that each product in the palette that you use three or more times in order to get a point. I get a point for the uh, blush and highlighter. That's one point there. And then I get a point for the eyeshadows. So, so far I'm at two points with that palette, which is great. And then the other two are not eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, I didn't do very well. And I did use other eyeshadow palettes, but not enough to get a point. Um, this is the Cheek Leaders Pink Squad Highlighting Palette. This is from Benefit. And I pulled this this month to use. And this is what it looks like. It's a very beautiful, beautiful palette. These two here are blushes. The middle is a highlight. This is a blush, but I could use it as a shimmered bronzer. It has a little bit of sheen to it, but not very much. It's not glittery. And then, of course, your Hoola bronzer there, which is nice. I did use every single item in this palette three or more times, so I will get a point for this specific palette. So I will get a one point for this one. So, so far, I'm at three points. And then this is the Beauty Treat Sunrise Glow Getter um, palette. And this was a find that I found at Ross, at my local Ross, for 4 dollars 
and um, I did use this recently in a video. I absolutely love this palette. Everything is shimmery in this palette. There is no mattes whatsoever. The only thing I will say is that I do not like about this palette is the smell. It just smells really, really bad. I don't like the smell of it, but the palette itself are very, very beautiful. There's a few shades that are very similar in this palette, but I did use this one three or more times. I used this one three or more times. And with what we have come to conjunction with is if you're not able to use every single one, you have to use at least each one three or more times in that palette. So I did use quite a bit of them. Um, these shades all up here were used. The only two that I don't think I reached into was this one here because it's just almost nothing on my skin and then these two right here. Um, but the rest I did use so I will gain one point for that. So overall this month I have only gained four points. Um, unfortunately that is all that I used. I did horrible like I said. Um, there were other palettes that I attempted like uh, my ColourPop Barbecue, Barbaco palette. Um, I use that twice. Uh, then I have my Hank and Henry palette. I use that twice. My Morphe and Manny palette twice. And then my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe twice. So I should have focused more on one or the other instead of, you know, going all over. And then obviously I used other palettes, but not enough to get a point in so yeah this month i got four points but i did have several hauls so i did boxy charm my ipsy laura lee mystery box makeup geek mystery bag shop miss a and shop miss a i only got two lip products but i still have to count it because we made that agreement um tj maxx and morphe so I lose seven points for my hauls this month. Um, I did get four points this month, so now I'm going to be at zero points for the month. Currently, from the previous months, so that was January, February, March, I was at 14 points. I take three more out. So I will now, for the end of April, I will be at 11 points because I, as when I ended March, I was at 14. I did get four points this month, but I did seven different hauls. So I need to take three out of that 14 from the end of March. So that's going to leave me with 11 at this point, which is not very good in my opinion. I could do much better and I need to try to do better. Um, I just have times of the month where I like wearing makeup and times I don't like today. I'm just not feeling it. Um, so I'm at 11 points, like I said, going into May. And hopefully I can make it up and not do no more hauls because then that would really, really help me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out the ladies. I'm pretty sure Nat is kicking butt because she has more restraint than I know I do. Um, so definitely check her out. De check out the ladies. Their information is always going to be linked down below when we do these videos. So definitely go over See how many points they're at and what they've earned and how good they did and all of that or how not good they did. Um, and make sure you're keeping tally of the points. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, I would love you to subscribe um, and hit those bell notifications. If you did enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you would like to join the palette challenge, definitely leave that in the comments as well. Or you can also notify myself, Beth or Nat on Instagram if you have two or more that you have can put a group together and you would like to join this palette challenge definitely let us know um, and you can create your own group um, doing this as well we would love the more competition so thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate each and every one of you guys and i will see you guys in my next video have a blessed weekend and i will see you guys later bye guys